Hey, it's time to go again. Let's go. So are we down the streets of Winnipeg. There's a cool blue hat. Salisbury House, Walmart, store, Toys R Us, Value Village, Mongo's Grill. Good place for food, that one. All right, this guy saw me. Woohoo! I like good drivers like that. They give me lots of space to get by. And get back. And get back to where you was been on. All right, just flying along like a bird, like a hawk. If I were to be a bird, I'd want to be a hawk. Woo! Yeah, be a hawk, Ray. Ooh, bumpity bump bumps. Bumpity bump bump bumpity bump bump bump. bump, bump. Ooh, bus full of people. Glad I'm not on it. I'm on my bike. As you can see, there's the bike handle. Now I just put you on that bike handle. Oh no, I got a red light. I got a red light. I guess I better stop. Oh, actually I don't have to stop. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, cause I see, I think this is the way to go. Could be the wrong way. But I bet you it's not. Uh-oh. It's looking like the wrong way. Turn the wrong way. We gotta go back and go down another block or two before we turn. So damn impatient, right? Let's do this the right way for now on. I'll tell you guys the story. One time I was driving back home from Vancouver, back home in Winnipeg. Driving back home to Winnipeg, and uh, and then I let my son start driving, driving down the Trans Canada. Told him just stay on this one highway, this Trans Canada highway. Just stay on this highway, and uh, you'll be fine. You know, if you need me, just wait for you. I'm right here beside you. I'll see you right there. So the next thing I know, he's waking me up. Um, uh, he has pulled over on the side of the road, quarter miles in front, quarter mile. Like say 250 yards in front of us. Sorry, beg my pardon. 250 mile, yards in front of us is the uh, is the U.S. border. So without even noticing, he ended up switching off of a highway that was heading that was heading east from the west. And uh, beg my pardon. And started heading south, but because the uh, sky was so overcast he couldn't tell which direction he was going and he wasn't paying attention to the signs and I guess the curve that he was on was so gradual when he turned off the highway he just thought it was a curve in the highway instead of an off ramp yeah so needless to say 
Um, we didn't have to go through the U.S. I ended up backing up about 20 yards or so, and I saw a little uh, arrow, arrow pointing, saying Canada, Canada, and it pointing in this direction. And so there was a little road there. So, boom! I drove down it, and sure enough, right in front of us, then heading north, the direction we want to go back, is the Canadian Customs that we have to go through as if we're coming from the U.S. but also we got there from that little like emergency road yeah so uh, of course I don't have no passport um, all my, my driver's license and ID is packed away in some camping gear here and there and I don't know where and I wasn't prepared to be at the uh, at the border plus I'm traveling with an ounce of weed maybe just under an ounce of weed with my, at the time, two boys. They're around, um, say, 16 and 18. Yeah, so anyways, I gotta cut this story short and put this down because some shit's coming up. But, uh, oh no, here's where I can hang my right, I think. Beg my pardon. Let's give it a try and see what happens. Probably can't even go this way. road to get south from here doesn't look like we're gonna see it <clears throat> shit that sucks damn oh, man. okay so gotta do what you gotta do right wow they're paving this place and they're just like creating total havoc for the people who are trying to travel east like myself and all these cars around here. Goddamn freak sakes. Yeah. Yeah, ruckus they're making. I wonder how much they're getting paid an hour to do that. Probably a pretty good amount of money. I didn't even get myself killed. Holy tamale. Yeah! I'm free. Free of that total chaos. Okay. Let's get going, people. We're gonna rock. That's nice. Okay, here we go. nice when you can just relax and go at your own easy pace just relax that's when it's the most enjoyable Is there I guess my heart heart rate spiking up now to you know average plus 50% I don't know how else to say it but we got some people coming up on the bus here so we're gonna Flip you around. How you doing? Oh, there's that road I'm looking for, I think. Yeah. There's Club, Club Regent Casino. Open Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 a.m. October, George Canyon. Well, I just can't wait to get home and kick back, go into the uh, Vapor Lounge. It's quite the distance from my place. As far as uh, 
city travel goes.